Hello, welcome back to the Universal Combat Tutorial Walkthrough. Uh, this is your captain speaking, Mr. Lazy Chan Esquire. Uh, next on the agenda is the Weapons Crash Course, your weapon systems. Um, I've already explained, uh, touched on it basically in the last tutorial. These are your main guns, your front guns, if we uh, move away from there a minute. You can press enter to fire. You can hold enter. While I do that, if you look on the left here, you'll see the recharge rate. Every time your guns fire, they do have to recharge. It's not much, but if you lower your guns to 60%, if you notice, um, it takes less time to recharge, so fires faster. 10%. That's pretty much full throttle. Um, although they give it gives out less damage, sometimes um, you want the speed over damage when you want to um, lower somebody's shields. And of course, the smaller a target is, um, the more power your guns have, the the the, the bigger the beams. So uh, the smaller the target is, the more chance you have of missing. So, at 30%, you'll be able to uh, hit a cruiser with no problem. Engaging a fighter or a shuttle with your capital ship's main guns is not a, a good idea. You'd, you'd have to have it on like 10, 20%. And um, they'd be able to fly too fast for you to do any real damage to, do to them anyway. Um, you use your main guns, I'd say about 15 kilometers. Uh, yeah, about 15, 20, 15 may maybe even 10 kilometers because of course the shots you're in space the shots degrade over space and time So the further the target uh, is the less damage your um, Photon beams or what I call them photon beams is 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 going to do uh, And of course if a target is moving first, let me um Let me show you with this one up here if I aim directly at the Windstar, oh, I've got Alt here. If you press Alt to take manual control, you can use your left mouse button to fire rather than Enter. Now you see, I'm firing at the Windstar, but I'm not hitting him. Uh, let, let, let's wait until he uh, moves sideways again. So, but pretty much, you have to lead the target, and I'll show you how to do. Let me just click the Windstar actually. It should work. Ah, here we are. You see the little uh, square on him in the middle. Once he moves left or right, you aim for the square. So if he was moving like up here, you, and the square was where this uh, why sick with the little crossing is, I'd I'd aim there instead. And if their ship was there going this way, I'd hit them. Right. So back to target alpha. So, always aim for the uh, square box. Now you see when I fire at target alpha, the blue tint, that's their shields. Watch the shields at the bottom right hand of my screen. Oh, oh shit, oh, oh, bugger. Ah, <laughs> it's okay, I thought I breached the shields there. You see, uh, it turns from a blue tint to a red tint. That means uh, they're in trouble. That's when you want to uh, fire off a missile. Right, um, now you'll notice shields do recharge, shields will recharge over time. So once you've got an enemy's shields down, uh, you want to fire off those uh, missiles as soon as possible before they've got a chance to jump through a gate and recharge their shields. Uh, right, now for your passive target acquisition system. That's your PTA. This will, I've explained it in the last video, but I'll go over it again. This will automatically target any enemies within range, and uh, they're powerful, they're powerful weapons. Uh, they'll blow them right out of the sky. But uh, be wary, the enemy has them too. So don't get too close to the uh, enemy with your capital ship, especially with your basic starter shields, because you will go kaboom. And, um,. Yeah, it's the same as the guns. The uh, less uh, power you give them, the um, 
smaller the shots, but the faster it fires. Now, um, missiles. What's it? So I'm reading the uh, tutorial of this piece of paper here. Missiles. Uh, if you press backspace, it'll automatically select the um, first missile in the list for you. Or let's cancel that. There we go. Or you can click missiles and select a missile. But in a heat of battle, it's. Let me get rid of that. Oh, let me get rid. There we are. You notice this? That's because I'm uh, targeting a neutral ship. They're wondering now if I'm a uh, friend or foe, they, they're, they're emitting an identifier's friend as foe signal. Uh, they'll soon find out in a minute. Um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, in the heat of a battle, it's easier just to press backspace. But, let's have a look, that's an analogue. Vagrant, there we go, we want a Vagrant. The Vagrant is the best missile in uh, your arsenal. Now. You'll notice when I move away, I'm no longer locked. You have to be, but when you're, when this little square, there, it will automatically lock on. And when I move away, it'll eventually break away. So yeah, your system is, is smart, it'll, it'll lock on when it can. Another way is to use Fatal. Now the Fatal system designate fatal target there's no hostile objects in Varen at the moment so I can't use that I don't at the moment but uh, the fatal system usually if there's an enemy you could click that click the enemy and um, your missile system will automatically lock onto that target and will automatically fire without you having to do anything um, when you fire a missile an enemy ship will probably uh, jam this is this. This will throw your missile off course. It will not hit. Uh, usually it'll take two or three missiles to uh, burn through. When you fire a missile, it'll have a, um, uh, a... It'll say burn down here. This is a number. Um, it'll show how much it's burning through the EMD jammer. How much power that EMD jammer has got. By the time you fired off your third missile, you've, you've probably broke through their jamming signal. Um, and right, I'll show you the missiles here. So, let's pick fragrant. Um, if you press Alt, mouse wheel down. And there we are, vagrant, and just press spacebar. You see the bottom right? Yep, burn. When it gets the lower the number, the better it is. Now you see, now if I fire my main guns until it's red, that's when you want to fire two missiles. Now if you press F10, we can watch it blow up. And there it is. Uh, sometimes, we, we, I don't know if you saw that, sometimes when you destroy a ship, uh, they will launch a, a shuttle and they'll bugger off out of the vicinity and try and escape you. Uh, you want to capture that shuttle or blow it up if you can, just send one of your fighters after it or something because they've usually got cargo pods on board and you want cargo pods. Uh, we'll get to that, we'll get to cargo pods in, I think, in one of the tutorials. We'll come to it. But that's, uh, you, ah, missiles will auto replenish your crew will um, restock but if your crews sometimes when you start a, a roam scenario your crew AI they're not they're not too smart they, they, they take a while to do things you can go to systems tactical loadout CC missiles and you can restock your missiles here um, the same goes for your fighters but once your uh, your crews AI grows they, they will restock um, automatically on their own. So that's uh, the weapons basics crash course. 
Thank you for watching. I'm Lazy Chun. I'll see you at part three. Goodbye.